you. You know, for me, progressive Christianity, um, that language might be new, but it's not a new movement. In fact, from my perspective, it's about as old as what evangelical Christianity refers to. I'm talking about the lineage of liberal Christianity, which kind of emerged around the period of the Enlightenment um, and in the kind of birth of the modern era, where we started having conversations about science and critical historical conversations. And Christians at that moment were faced with a choice. Some Christians decided to double down on what they called the fundamentals and reject modernity, reject science, history, reason. Whoa! My goodness! Like, ah, I know, I know that Sean uh, was really trying to just like sit back and one be chill because he probably wants to have another conversation with this guy. And he doesn't want to scare him off, but also uh, that he's he's not wanting to just get into arguments. He's wanting to kind of just have Brandon show all of his cards. But I don't know how someone could sit back when he says something as ridiculous as that. Now, did you hear it? Let's let's go back a little bit and. I want you to hear it. Christians decided to double down on what they called the fundamentals and reject modernity, reject science, history, reason. Oh my goodness. That is, that is so not what happened. Okay. Uh, now, uh, credit to Brandon. Uh, he, he's a reverend of some kind and like a disciples of Christ nomination it's really weird. I don't know exactly. I've never heard of it. It's like got like four different parentheses, uh, but it's some some very progressive liberal denomination uh, that he's reverend of. Now he went to Moody Bible Institute, or Bible College. Is it Bible College? Whatever. He went to Moody, and um, a lot of people go to Moody. A lot of good people go to Moody. A lot of people who are not so good uh, went to Moody. Uh, one of them being Joe Thorne. You know, it's, I don't know about that guy, um, but a lot of people go to Moody. Uh, but then he went to some school. It's like Lilith, Ilf, Lil, Lilith, I don't know. Uh, but he got he got a master's degree and he's working on a doctorate uh, from Drew University. Um, I don't know how much study he's done, to be honest, on like history. Uh, but he is way off course. Okay. Um, he is right. He makes a connection. And this is why I wanted to start here. Uh, he makes a connection with himself and classic liberal theology. All right. Like going back to uh, German higher criticism and, and dealing with things really focused on the nature of the Bible. And that's, that's where we're going to go because that's where the biggest issues really lie. Um, but he, he is associating himself with that. I'm not putting that on him. Uh, but this is not something new, what he's doing. All right. Now, other people who come from, you know, a really conservative, uh, Christian background, but they weren't given a lot of answers and they have questions like those people, like that's different than what Brandon is talking about. He's talking about a line uh, supposed Christians who question all kinds of things and came out to some really weird views. Uh, and he's saying he is in that line of supposed Christianity. So he does that for himself. Now, when he's talking about this line between fundamentalists and liberals, um, he is accurate that th there was this division. Uh, but when he says that they threw out they threw out science and reason like, no, bro, you, you are so off course. It's not like the fundamentalists looked at everything in secular culture and said like, none of this can be true. We're throwing out all of that. So Brandon is doing that for a reason because what he's trying to do is do like a straw man argument and say, oh, this is what evangelicalism is. It, its roots are in fundamentalism, which is not actually accurate. Uh, there, there are some overlaps, um, but not all evangelicals were fundamentalists. Uh, to just pit it as fundamentalist and liberal, 
I think is doing a disservice to history. Uh, and I mean, it's pretty recent. So we have like a lot of resources that we can look back on and be like, Hey, you know, it wasn't just these people, uh, like the, the classic example, um, uh, it's up there. I'm not going to get it. Um, uh, but, uh, the classic example is, is uh, um, Martin Lloyd Jones. And I, I've talked about him quite a bit in that story. Uh, like, by the way, I think I started something just saying, you know, I think it started the whole thing of talking about that story with, uh, uh, TT Shields over in Toronto about, you know, fundamentalism and being like an, like going to like a dog fight and, uh, like the surgeon thing and being knife happy. I talked about that. And then all of a sudden tons of people talked about that. I don't know who watched it and then spread it, but I, I'm taking credit a little bit. I'm taking a little bit of credit. Probably. It probably wasn't me, but I like to think it was me. But anyways, there's a lot of people that you could look at like, um, Martin Lloyd Jones and say he didn't fit into the fundamentalist camp. Now we are talking about a little bit later. Uh, but, uh, there, there are tons of people that were outside of those two lines of fundamentalists and liberal. Uh, and then even when you're talking about the fundamentalists to say that they threw out all of science and reason is just dumb. Uh, that's not accurate to what, what they were about. Uh, now I think what he's meaning by that is evolution, uh, to throw out evolution and, uh, this, uh, this idea of, Things like German higher criticism, where he looked at the Bible and said, well, it's a cultural document. And based off of the culture, they would have understood things as this and it's not inspired. And they start taking like basically like a like a tomahawk to the Bible and start chopping it up into different pieces. Uh, like, yeah, the fundamentalists weren't OK with that. Um, but that's not to say that they didn't look at the Bible and say, like, is this accurate? And are there mistakes even in translation work? They didn't do, they, they weren't talking about those things. Um, so I think that Brandon did a disservice to all of Christians, really, um, because he's basically saying, well, you guys just chucked out all of reason and logic and, and science because you just wanted to believe this thing. And that's, that's completely inaccurate. Um, but, uh, I, I don't know how Sean like just stood there <laughs> now I will say, um, in some of these clips, look for the cup that he has when he's drinking, um, because he has a cup that says something like be biblical. And I, if I was him, I would be so passive aggressive about that. I would just be bringing it up and like staring into the camera and like drinking it constantly. I would have run out like of whatever I was drinking right now. I've got some green tea, uh, but I'd run out of what I was drinking in like two minutes. I would just be holding it up like the whole time and just staring him down. Be biblical. My name is Martin Luther and I think I should become a Jedi. Oh, well, why don't you hop in and maybe... Uh oh, <laughs> uh, I didn't know you would actually finish that video, so uh, a little awkward. Um, hey, if you did, that means that you probably liked the video, so might as well hit the like button and do me a big favor, right? Also, YouTube is going to recommend a video over here for you to watch. I don't know what it is, but maybe it's good. Anyways, we gotta go find Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs>